the president is part of was part of us, and I don't know why he thinks that uh, that constitutional amendment can achieve uh, something fundamental. I don't think I achieve anything fundamental. Really? Yes, because. Let me tell you, the actual stakeholders must be part of the process. And the stakeholders that I'm talking about are actually the indigenous people of Nigeria. You, have, you call the ministers, you call the House of Friends members, you call, these are salary NRC in Nigeria. Are they not part of Nigeria? The, these are they not know, understand what is going the, on? The indigenous, people, the indigenous people are actually the people who gave, who got the independence from the British, the Ijo. The Shekri, the Fulani, the Ausa. These are the genuine people that can determine the fate of Nigeria. But these people are their representatives. They are representing each ethnic group they come from. And look at, for instance, in, 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 in the South South now, you have how many senators there? About how many senators? And we have about over 20 million ethnic groups. They must come together to decide what that region wants. That's what they will take to the constitutional review to negotiate. What they want from Nigeria. So, in effect, are you not saying that? Not the many, not the less than 500 people that gathered to discuss it. Of course, there are so many conferences that will eventually lead to the structuring. Those are part of it. The Codesa in South Africa, there were so many attempts before you get a quality, uh, South Africa constitutional review that led to what is called Codesa today, mm -hmm. that gave them what is South Africa today, that apportioned what the white people want in South Africa, apportioned what the black people want in South Africa, mandate the winning, winning position and his followers. We have the view that uh, all the white men should be running to the Atlantic Ocean. But the Kodesh are designing that they're part of that country already. So they gave them that. So the indigenous people of Nigeria are the people that can design the constitution. The president is aware of this. He knows this. Uh, so, but maybe he's just bringing it from the pocket small, small, small. small but so but that there's you know, no time to be mm, bringing it out. That's why we say you should hasten it up. You need to hasten it up. Is that to say that they go, uh, we should look mm -hmm. at the 2014, you know, Confab. Confab reports? Is, is, would that definitely address the issues that we are currently are facing? That's fundamentally part of it. And when you know, when you want to do, uh, it's not in our constitution to talk about referendum, but something similar to it must be done to accept. Not the current parliament. The people must accept what is missing in the current constitution. And you know, if you take the decision before on my behalf, no matter how beautiful that decision is. It may be difficult for me to agree with. But if all of us take it, no matter how the case that decision is, it's binding on all of us. Put all hands in it. Don't bring up a constitution where people will say that I'm not part of it again. Where it's taking the decision was taken by governors on our behalf. That was the accusation we have against the military. That military took a decision on our behalf. Mm. And that's the error of this review. So, yeah, no, so, so, so no matter the, the number of amendments, it will not bring us any closer to where, wherever we are we going. We have to include the indigenous people. We have to, the real stakeholders. How did work on the, you know, the affinity people was not there. Ijo people were not there. The crisis in, 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 in Ijo land today, how do we resolve that? Is it by sitting down or people who don't understand the genesis of this problem? We need indigenous people that will decide that it, to live in Nigeria, this is the minimum and this is the maximum. So and how do they come that, about? Be, because not everyone will be there to, you know, put one or two or say this is what we want and all of that. They still have to, you know, produce or provide representatives, mm -hmm. which they already have. They are credible the institutions and organizations across Nigeria now. Are they are not credible. credible enough? Is that what you're saying? No, no, no. I mean, in, in the organization yeah. that are credible enough, right. it's not about credibility. It's about ownership of the nation itself. The governors are credible. Ministers are credible. We are talking about uh, the, they go there by vote. They were not designed to go and, to go and uh, 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 review constitution. All of them. They are not designed to, to, to come up with a new Nigeria for us. It's Nigeria that can design a new Nigeria for themselves. And if you want to argue with me, let's look at the previous amendment. Mm. Where is it today? It's because this thing is missing. This is missing. What is missing is... That's why we are the, still going back to it. That's why we are still going back to it. So if you don't want to go back to it again, where people will say that, we are not part of it. Well, you know, there is public... Before a, before a bill becomes a law, there is this, you know, public hearing. There is this, you know, bringing it to the public for them to... For people ball. to talk yeah, about to what talk they about want. About that's what is missing. That's what I'm saying. It's the people process, people-driven process that will lead to it. Let the people-driven process start. Let... The president can initiate it. He knows. He, but that's what usually happens this. before an amendment is done. No, no. Are you talking about uh, 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 amendment? Where what people go back to their various uh, zones and yeah, have a conversation with yes. yes. And that's what we are saying. It's, this is not it. This one is gathering of, of us, some stakeholders to submit to the poor. This is what the country wants. We will take a step forward. 
and you know to drag us ten steps backward again. So we have to be careful. And this is not we can't accept the excuse from the president that uh, there's an error. I don't know. No, it's not going to be acceptable. It was part of Podako. Before now, the, the former ex-president of uh, uh, Nigeria, Buhari, nobody wants to see. But the moment it became part of Pronaco, mm. we knew that this man has turned to genuine Democrats. That's what that was. That's Buhari when he became part of Pronaco. Oh, oh, he understands the concept of a new Nigeria. That was what led to part of this why he accepted the status. Anywhere Buhari was before, we always stayed protest to go and meet him there when he was in Baden. We stayed protest to go and meet him in 2002. When he came to speak on behalf of the flying that were having issues in Oyo State, I stayed the protest. When I was still to go and meet him in Ibadan. Anyway, he's, I didn't say can when he, was, when he came to Kwara as part of the delegation of Governor. I didn't say. But the, after he became a member of Ponaco, you saw a new look about uh, Buhari. Oh, this one is a Democrat eventually. Then you so, shook his hand. You shook him. So I, eventually <laughs> I shook his hand. So, so the whole issue about what we are talking about is that it has to be indigenous. Mm. And then today, anywhere in the world, it is acceptable that it is indigenous people that must take a decision on behalf of any nation. Mm. It's a United Nations point that has been recognized. In America, there's a special day for the indigenous people. Right. In the, everywhere in the world, 